guys, Stephen Clark here, Defiance Boats, coming to you guys today with a brand new video. And boy, do we have a treat for you today. Right now, we're out in Washington's beautiful Puget Sound on a nice new 270 Admiral. So I wanted to share this boat with you guys. This is kind of going up to the next level. This is a nice offshore platform, all species of fish, longer range, longer distance and a bigger boat. So let's go through a couple awesome features of this thing. Uh, obviously as available with Defiance Boats, the second station is here. And this one we set up specifically with the fish finder so that you have it mounted here to see when you're working on the back deck. We have the Yamaha package on here with the DEC controls, it includes the push button start, the Hellmaster EX control binnacle. Uh, also, we've rigged this one up with the kicker. So we also have our kicker controls here, which is available uh, with, across the Defiance line. So if we take a peek at this thing, you'll notice uh, on our deck spacing here, we got a ton of fish boxes. So uh, on these 270s, you get the third fish box, which is located here. And now we have a lot bigger space in here. This fish box will give you a bunch more space for ice, fish, and your catch. Obviously the Defiance has the two side insulated in-floor fish boxes. In the 270, these are much larger. This actually continues farther back into the boat underneath there, so you have a ton of room. We have our other one on the starboard side. This model has been outfitted with the optional bait tank system and rocket launchers for rod holders here as well. This 270 also had the optional transom bench seat which is a very comfortable option gives you seating for many more adults on the boat nice weather everybody wants to be outside and have somewhere to sit this this folding transom bench seat is a nice upgrade if you want it to go down legs fold under she goes down flat against the closeout so save yourself some room if you need to get around while you're fishing and fighting one this 270 we outfitted with the twin yamaha 250s this pushes this boat at, at over 40 miles an hour a cruising speed of 30 about 3,500 RPMs. So good fuel burn, good fuel efficiency, and a ton of range. This boat comes standard with a 180 gallon fuel tank as well. So this one got outfitted with the T25 Yamaha kicker as well for the for if you want to troll at a little slower speed. We have the optional washdown pump, which has been installed on here as well, along with Scotty downrigger plates with the wires and the plugs underneath there ready to go for you. You get six, you get six gunnel rod holders standard with the boat. We try to situate them out so they make sense and your poles aren't crossing each other. Let's take a look here also, we got our LED deck lighting that's been installed on this one too. So you give yourself a light up on the deck in the early morning hours or the dusk hours. This specific boat also has been outfitted with shore power as well. So we can hook up for shore power for charging needs when you're in the marina. Let's take a peek inside the pilot house you guys. Come follow me here. As always, we have our high quality AJR locking glass back bulkhead door, along with additional windows. When we come inside the pilot house here, and a beautiful thing about the 270 is you have a massive pilot house inside versus the competition. We have seating in here for six adults, and you can squeeze people in here if you need to get out of the weather. Captain, co-captain seats have been outfitted with Shockwave S5 suspension bases giving you an additional comfort ride. The 270 also comes standard with a privacy closeout for the berth with a locking door as well. So an additional level of security there. Plenty of room for adults to sleep in here and overnight on this boat. Can also be upgraded to a flushing marine head, which we would put underneath the lead cushion here, giving you access for people that want to have a, a head on board the vessel as well. Large Defiance dash gives you plenty of room to mount 16, 12 inch multifunction displays plus radios, plus your gauges. You can, you can fit a ton of stuff in here. It comes standard with the rocker switches, the panels. We always put a couple spares on there for you if you're looking to upgrade down the road with more electronics. Um, this specific model, we put a stereo in it as well. We put the Fusion in here with the Bluetooth technology so it links up. And you can play music when you're off, off fishing and enjoy yourself for the day. So we also have a midsection bilge here, added safety. This model also has fresh water on it as well. So we use the freshwater tank in there with a mid, midsection bilge. Lots of storage underneath the bench seats in the Defiance. You'll notice we put the electronics inside here, the, the shore power inverter, 
the batteries that are inside the pilot house as well. That way you don't have to concern yourself with salt water splashing on your electrical components and ruining your day one day when you're trying to go out. So storage underneath here as well. We have an access port to the rigging for the second station back here for convenient maintenance. We have an access port here for the rigging in the main station for convenient maintenance as well. So just a beautiful boat, you guys. We paired it up with the twin wipers, side door slide, side windows slide open standard. So it's just an amazing thing. Tons of headroom. I'm about 6'2", and this thing gives me plenty of room with a small step down so it's not too cumbersome getting in and out of here. So just a beautiful boat, you guys. And if you're looking to upgrade or put yourself on a nice offshore tuna chasing boat, or something that's big enough to carry the whole family, then look no further than a 270 Admiral. You won't be disappointed and you'll get yourself the best sport fishing boat money you can buy in this class. Thanks you guys for watching this video, really appreciate it. If you like that, hit that subscribe button and we got a ton more content coming for you in the future. Thanks again and we'll see you on the water fishing.